Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Kimber Kiwi Art, and this is the first video back since 2020. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you like the video or if you have any suggestions or even if you just want to chat. All materials are listed in the description box below, so if you're curious, take a look-see. Okay, so from the last time I posted a video, which was some point at the end of last year, um, I've been working on a lot of different things, so I've been busy. I haven't really had the chance to post anything, and now it's August of 2021. I'm also redoing my coloring books. Um, uh, re-edits, new line art is being included with these coloring books. Um, if you know me, you know I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so if there's something that I see that needs to be improved on, like I will always try to go back and um, just kind of re-edit and make things better, otherwise it's going to bother me. So I've been working on that as well. And then afterwards, we ended up moving to a new house. So picking up and leaving from where we were in Tucson um, up to our new spot. And then, you know, with it, you know, it's the end of the year. The kids are getting out of school. So getting them completely packed up and ready to go, you know, that was kind of labor intensive. And then once we were here setting up the new art studio and trying to figure out where everything was going to go, so setting up the new art studio, um, I was basically setting up in a walk-in closet. Um, I kind of had to figure out where to put my microphone and the computer and um, my workspace, my lights and everything. And since there's not a lot of room really to spread out, I have basically had to go vertical. So a lot of my materials are in bins that are zip tied to like the clothing rack and then I have like my books and my collectibles up high um I have like old paintings that I still have that are up high and then closer to my surface level where I'm working is like all of my materials so right after the move and setting up the art studio more art commissions were coming in and um you know, I've been transferred with my work up here. Um, I was working as a caregiver and then I ended up losing my job. Um, COVID concerns, um, staff were still forced to come into work even if they were potentially exposed to COVID. So I, that was something that was concerning for me because I really don't want to bring that crap home. Um, the whole thing with the pandemic is kind of scary because you never really know what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, I had to walk away from that job and, you know, I've been a caregiver for a very long time. So that was kind of concerning to me because it's like, now what am I going to do? You know, um, my art has always been secondary to my first job. So, you know, this whole time, you know, trying to get my art up and off the ground has been a very long process. It could have gone by a lot quicker if I was able to have my art as just my main job, um, but this seems like this was going to force me into that role. So here I am now, I'm in my home studio, I'm working on art, I have art commissions coming in, projects I'm working on. I'm collaborating with some really awesome people right now and you know I'm making new friends in the art community so I kind of feel like you know losing that job was kind of a blessing in disguise. So then the next thing along this whole busy time um, stepping away from really toxic you know relationships with different people um, certain friends, um, certain groups of people, and just kind of realizing who my real friends are. Um, and it's kind of hard when you walk away from friendships that have been there a long time. But, you know, over the years, you know, you grow 
and you evolve and um just like that friend had said to me years ago you know you either evolve together or you grow apart and so you know really going through this process of new home new environment new job um getting the kids settled in everything is brand new so this is like new territory you know and figuring out like who my friends are and so that was like a painful little thing that I had to go through during this time um we also had a death in the family there was a lot of traveling back and forth across country um and then meeting new family and having my kids introduced to family that they haven't met before and then also visiting family that we haven't seen in years and then um and then finding out that you know we had to get the kids back to school almost like a week week and a half earlier than we thought because the school district out here starts way earlier than their old school district so having to hurry up get home get them registered um get them back into school and then um kind of work on having a normal schedule again so it has been a lot um i'm fully settled in again i've got everything i need (laughs) so you know right now i'm taking commissions i'm working on commissions i have long-term projects i'm working on um but i think i will be posting videos again just like last time um my videos will be posted on mondays um i want to say 12 noon mountain standard time um so that's when i'll be posting and then um I guess I will let you enjoy the rest of the video. Um, Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment. And also maybe tell me what your struggles were um, dealing with the whole pandemic. If maybe you learned something new or you tried something different that you probably wouldn't have tried before. Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you next time. Bye.